early. I'm right on time. Don't knock that over. That's the cat. See him rubbing against that. How are you guys? It's Cindy A. Lewis. How are you guys tonight? I'm trying to get it on my tablet over here. So give me just a second. Let me see if I can get to my channel. My home page. Not the studio. How are you guys tonight? I... Who all's here? I thought I thought I saw Pam. Uh, let me just do this real quick. I don't see any chat. Just a second. All right, here I am. Um. <laughs> Am I the only one here tonight? Uh, my videos. No, that's not what I want. All right, let's see. I'm missing some chat, I think. Hey, Janice. Is Terry Lynn there too? I'm trying to find my video so I can get it on the screen here. And it's not showing up. Usually I'm a little more prepared, but I just got off on a K, Laura. Bear with me just a second. Where's my... Get down, Leo. No. Well, let's see. I'm live now, so maybe I can get to it. Hey, Debbie. Hey, Terry Lynn. All right, here, maybe if I go to it like that. There we go. Everybody ready for tonight? Yay. So sorry about that. I was running just a little bit late and needed to get it on here with my, um, my tablet because when I pull you guys in to do the pockets, we won't be able to see too well. Hey, Carla. So let's see who else there. We got Carla, Terry Lynn, Pam, Lori, Laura, Janice. There's Melanie. Oh, yeah. You're in charge of the church yard sale. Oh, my goodness. Yeah. Well, we had a, a late night tonight. Let me grab the bowl here. I need to get that real quick. Oh. And this is for... Uh, the drawing later. How are you guys today? Are you having a good one? I hope so. I hope everybody's having a good day. It's really warm here. Super warm. I don't know. We had that cool spell and then all of a sudden it's hot. You know, like hot. So anyway. So let me just say welcome uh, my welcome is just a three and a half minutes late, but anyway, yeah, it's hot here. Um, <clears throat> Oklahoma is, is very hot right now. Humidity is really high, and so that's not too fun to deal with, but I've been trying to rearrange. I'm still working on it. I know, suddenly summer. What? I know. But anyway, welcome to my channel. If you're new and you haven't subscribed, hey, Denise. Um, well, I invite you to subscribe. We have a really fun time here. We have all kinds of fun hauls and all kinds of goodies to do with crafting and using your creativity. And also, um, we have fun with live on Monday nights called Craft and Games. So welcome. And uh, we always have a game along with our crafts, so that's fun too. And then uh, we also um, have a drawing on Friday night. So if you didn't enter, you can go back to last Friday's video and enter for the drawing on this Friday. Hey, Natty. You got some goodies in the mail. Awesome. Very cool. Hey, 
Hey, Patty B. Janice, thank you. So, Janice, thank you for supporting my channel that way with a super sticker. That is what a super sticker looks like. It's really cool. You can monetarily support my channel, and I appreciate that so much. Um, down below, there's like a little, I think it's like a little dollar sign and a little sticker, and you can just, like a happy face, and you can click on it, and if you want to do that, thank you. I appreciate that. Anyway, um, today uh, I wanted to find out if you guys are ready to check into some pockets from junk mail envelopes. So uh, I know that you guys collect them. I know we've done some journals with junk mail envelopes. We've got to upcycle them, right, rather than throw them in the trash. So who is ready to make some pockets with junk mail envelopes? Oh, Leo. <laughs> so it's hot. Ah, oh, goodness. So what's your favorite thing to do in the summer? You ready? You ready? Everybody's ready? What's your favorite thing to do in the summer? Stay in the air condition, go to the lake, go to the beach, take a vacation, go camping. What's your favorite thing to do in the summer? I... I love swimming. I just don't get to go very often. Doing nothing in the summer. Hey, that's something. Doing nothing is something, sort of, right? <laughs> I guess so. Let's do it. Hey, didn't, hey, Debbie Walker. You love the earrings? Yeah, aren't they pretty? They're pretty. Thank you. Somebody gave them to me, I think. Or I bought them. I can't remember. I've had them a while. Yeah, Leo is weaving around everything so we'll see how the camera does this week last week at the end he knocked over the camera so that was fun scared a little kitty and everything that was watching okay well we're gonna jump right in stay in keep cool lots of crafting in the summer yay i love swimming too it would be fun to go to the beach and camping you go to the lake yeah Okay, well, our craft tonight of Crafts and Games is going to be uh, making some pockets from junk mail envelopes. So, you get something like this that you could throw in the trash, right? Camping or fishing, yeah. And you'd make something really beautiful out of it that you would never know, unless you looked at the back, that it's a junk mail envelope. So these are just some examples that I made last night. Uh, really fun examples. This one is just, I made a tag to go with it. And this one is just, a, you know, a journaling card. And this one I didn't put anything in. But I'm gonna tell you about each one of them and we're just gonna make some, any different kinds of ways. You can do a lot of things with just the things that you have around your house. So I did. I wanted to do something that uh, you could use your crafty stash, and you wouldn't have to go out and buy anything. You like these? Yeah, they're real pretty. I mean, you could do more, definitely. But I do want to tell you, um, these you would want probably use in your junk journals or in your scrapbook page or even your journal that you just do for yourself. Or you could make them into something else. You can make them into a gift card holder to put inside a birthday card or whatever. Um, but if you saw my friend mail, I have a beautiful set of goodies that we're gonna use tonight that Trisha Darnell sent me in my friend mail and I was just overwhelmed. So if Trisha sees this, thank you again, Trisha. Um, just really touched my heart that you thought of me and sent so much to me but anyway we're gonna use it tonight so we're gonna use a lot of it so without further delay I'm just gonna pull you guys in um, like we normally do because I don't have two cameras and we're gonna just work right here on my desk so if you can bear with me a minute to move you in oh you do oh thank you okay hold on we're moving the tripod now you can see my desk here all right we're gonna try not to lose the camera Ooh. 
Let's see if we can tilt it down some. All right, you guys. Now I'm gonna try to keep watch on your um, chat. Can you see okay or is that kind of awkward? Let's see, it seems like it's not even. How about that? Does that look pretty good? Um, I know, Leo needs to behave tonight. Stinker, he's a stinker. All right, so I'll just tell you what I did with each of these and then we're gonna make some. All right, so this one is from this book. This is just an old book that I had on the shelf. I do collect like old books and to do junk journals with them. They have a lot of fun old pictures in this one. And uh, this one is more of a children's book. And it's, let's see, I don't remember how old this book is, from 1966. So I guess not that old. <laughs> But anyway, um, so I use I used a page out of it and covered the envelope, and I used some ribbon here, and these are some brads. I don't know if you can see, these are some brads that came with Trisha's stuff, and I just made it all work. And then this is a stamp that I did in the background with a brown dye ink. It's called Cocoa. And then this butterfly is with black dye ink from a different stamp pad. So I did go around the edges with my blending tool and my cocoa dye ink just to give it some age. And that's just how I made that one. Then this one here, this one is uh, music from this old book. And I like using these old books because it's repurposing them. Hey, Pours by Pam. And, um, it gives them new life. In other words, these books might get burnt or put away or, you know, in the trash or something. So giving them new life. So I'll pick them up for 50 cents or something at a flea market or a resale shop or a garage sale, yard sale. And I, I'll use the pages and junk journals and that kind of thing. So we're gonna use this one tonight. This one's from 1917. <laughs> I know, it's almost like why I don't wanna cut it up, but, um, I don't know who else would use it. So anyway, that's what this page is from a piece of music out of that book. Took the envelope, gave it a diagonal cut. This is a journaling card, Have Courage, that Trisha gave me from her stash. All that goodies. And then I just took some ribbon that she sent and put it on here. Made it look really, really cute. And this stamp is from this set. Is it this set? No. It's this set of stamps, and I just stamped the image of the butterfly on there with black. Hey, Madeline. All right, you guys are all getting here. Nice. So anyway, have that one, and then I'm gonna just stick that out of there, and then this one is all papers from the set of stuff that Trisha sent me, and this is just another um, envelope but I'm gonna show you inside, I put a piece of the cardstock inside because I could see through it because I took this hole here and um, I wanted to make a, like a pool, a place you know where I could pull if I wanted to like that, you know? But then I did take a piece of the paper and put a tag on it. So anyway, all I wanna do is just um, get creative. We can chat and I'm gonna reach across and grab some some envelopes here and what I want to do is we're, we can just chat about it and I just want to work I'll show you some things that I'm creating and then we can play our crafty game so Trisha sent all kinds of fun stuff and so I'm going to show you how to make the diagonal pocket first so this is just a plain envelope that would be thrown away in the trash you guys can see okay or do you need it pulled in some more? I don't know if you need it lower. Yeah, just use your old books instead. Of, mm -hmm. I know, I have a hard time with it too, but these are not, I'm not sentimental to these. 
these are the ones I find at a flea market or something. If there's a book that I'm sentimental to, I probably wouldn't, you know, do it. Okay, you can see. All right, so I'm going to seal this envelope with a tape runner. And that way I have basically started my pocket. And I'm just going to do along this edge, being careful not to get it on the inside when I put my pocket to get, you know, make my pocket. So there you go. That was easy, right? <laughs> okay, so you can also use um, some fancy cutting scissors if you want to use decorative scissors or, or whatever. So I'm just going to take my, um, my envelope and I'm going to line it up with my line on my cutting my trimmer and then I'm just going to trim it and sometimes you have to pull it down just a little bit to make sure you get the, the top part of it all right so I'm going to set that aside all right so now I have a really long envelope with a cool diagonal now if I want I can leave this open but I think I'm going to cover it today so what I said I would do is take some of the papers that was sent to me and use those for um, covering this, but it might be too tall. This might be a little long. So I might can fit a, a sheet music in it. So we'll just do that. We'll just pick a sheet music. How about, um, I don't know, Peaceful Night. What do you guys think? This old book, Peaceful Night. All right, so I'm just going to cut it down like this. Don't anybody have a heart attack <laughs> from, from cutting the book? Yeah, it is hard. It's hard. All right, so now I'm just going to line it up. So how I did it last night was, I may do it this way so I can get some of that. So I'm going to line it up on the edge. Now these are, again, not... This is going to be a little too long, I think. Let me trim it a little bit more. So I'm just going to trim it, make it a little shorter. There we go. Let's see how that is. All right. So I'm just going to trim. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to take my pencil. I'm just going to take a pencil. And I'm just going to trace where I need to trim it for it to fit. Now I utilize this edge here and this edge here. So now I'm gonna line it up on my trimmer. See if I can get that straight with my body in the way. So you can see how I can line it up with my line that I drew right on that line on the trimmer. So let's see if I did a good job. Looks pretty good. All right. All right, so that fits good. Okay, and I'm really only concerned about the front, right? So now I'm gonna take my cocoa dye ink. Now I like these to be vintage looking. You may like a different look, but that's what I'm gonna go for here. So I'm just gonna go around the edges and this is my little homemade blending tool. If you don't have one, you can just use these felt um, peat pads from Dollar Tree and put it on an old pill bottle and it works great and I've used them for a long time. You can also buy blending tools but I really love the effect this little pad gives. So, And there's a video on it on my channel if you are interested. Alright, so now I've got this. It fits just right. Now I can decorate it before I add it or I can um, go ahead and put it on and decorate it after. I'm going to go ahead and put it on. Just remember this little cutout here. I don't want to put anything on here. Now what I'm using to adhere this paper just like I did in all these. I'm going to show you. I use this Colal glue. This is an alcohol-based glue and it is really great for matte and layering and it doesn't have water in it like tacky glue does tacky glue is water-based and so sometimes you get those little um you know like it soaks into the paper but you can see and it doesn't do that on these you can see they're just 
they're flat you can't see it and this is the same right so anyway i'm just gonna um go ahead and use this this glue is awesome so any alcohol based glue rather than a water-based glue is great you can use a tape runner if you want to but i want to make sure i have a nice good hard um it Adhe adhesive and this is great for matte and layering and honestly I probably have too much on here so I'm just gonna thin that out a little bit make sure I have it all the way to the edges and it will s give me time to set in case I don't get it just right as well as it will uh, look really nice afterwards and then I can adjust it now the only thing I want to make sure I'm not doing is gluing the front to the back so if I have a little bit of glue here I want to make sure to get that off all right all right so I'm gonna let that set a second and make sure I wipe my hands which I didn't bring anything to wipe my hands all right and set that aside now this is a super easy way to make a pocket you don't even need double stick tape or anything unless you need it to glue it to the back, to whatever you're adhering it to. So anyway, um, the way that I made uh, the other one like this was using a stamp. So I'm just gonna take this deer stamp, that's for Christmas. And this is a cute clear stamp, this cute deer here. And I need to put it on my rock block Let's see if it will fit on this one. All right, so I'm just going to put the stamp here like this, okay? And then I'm going to use the black to put that stamp on. And this is dye ink. Somebody tell me, if you've watched my channel, why would I choose dye ink? Does anybody know? Hi, Grandma Sandy. Yeah, seeing what we're up to. Yeah, I'm just doing some pockets out of junk mail envelopes. All right, somebody tell me why I'm using dye ink. Anybody? I don't know where my, my wipes are. I was straightening up and I think I moved them. So I'm gonna just set that aside for now. All right. So now you can see my little deer on there. You can see my deer. Now, if I want to put something else, I could put like there's this cute tree. So I could I could just make a little scene on here if I wanted to. So I've got this tree. I don't know where my. Uh, I don't feel very prepared tonight. After a long day. You need to watch a lot of these because you're interested in learning how to do the stamping. Yeah. So dye ink. Did anybody answer my dye ink question? Yeah, they're floor protector things. Yeah. All right. So I'm going to stick my tree here. Okay. There we go. So you can see that. It dries fast and won't smear. Exactly. Ding, ding, ding. That is why I'm using the dye ink. I need to find my... I need to clean my stamps. Because it's going to dry on there, isn't it? Okay. Anyway, I don't think I have it in my drawer either. Nope. Okay, so I've got that one. Now, I can decorate it however I want. I mean, I have all these fun little things in here. That was sent to me. I mean, if I had any uh, like snowflakes or anything, I could put some, a little brad that's white here. Could give the idea of a snowflake. Sometimes you can just let your imagination go. You don't have to overdo. So like there's one. Gotta have a few if we're gonna have white. See, and the the brads, you know how to use a brad, so you just open it up. You don't have to um, glue it unless you want to. Let's see if I can get my fingers in there. 
This one doesn't want to open. Here we go. Dries fast. You guys are right. Now, the, um, the pigment ink is nice, too. Um, if you want to emboss it or use the heat tool on it, that is awesome. All right. All right. There we go. So there's a little one. And then let's see if I can find one more. One more white bread. Is there a white? Is that white? That's kind of kind of gray. All right. Let's see. We're going with white here. We're kind of a white. Here's one. And then just let your imagination just go um, wild with it, you know? Let's see. Well, we may just go with these for now because I can't seem to find another white, white one. There probably is one in there. But anyway, you can do that. Um, you could put some glitter on here if you like glitter and, you know, make it sparkle. You can put some ribbon on here. So I have all kinds of fun ribbon that was sent. And I think it needs like a red. Don't you think it needs a red? So just let your creative um, creativity just go crazy with it. Now, one way I like to make a bow with I have when I have ribbon is make two loops and then tie like a shoe, like you're tying a shoe, put one inside the other one especially if you're on a little piece of ribbon and you don't have a lot. So like you can just knot it like that and make your bow. Now you can make the link, you can mess with your, um, you know, play with these loops, the size that you want them to be like that. And then just make your a little bow to go on your paper and just put you some some tape, some double stick tape. And then you've got your little bow, you've got your, I mean, and that's really simple. You could make it a lot fancier if you wanted to. All right, so let's do another one. We can vote on the best of the show if you want. All right, so let's do, um, let's use this one. This one is one that was uh, opened and it was the outside envelope, not the one that they include. So I think I can glue that together without cutting it. I was looking at it. So I want to glue this together. Again, I want to glue it because I want it to stay closed. Now, I I'm just going to cut it in half. And this will be a wider. Let's, let's, let's do it right here. Let's just... All right, so now I have a little bit wider envelope here, just like that, um, for my pocket. And if I wanted to, does that look even to you? I guess so. All right, so I've got all these beautiful papers here. Um, this is a really pretty one here. This is a pretty paper, and that looks like it'll just about fit, right? Oh, wow, that was just like almost perfect. So I just need to trim this. I don't even have to really cut it much. All right. So if I want to do that, I like this one just like it is. I'm just going to put a little of this to vintageize it. Vintageize it? Can you vintageize something? I don't know. What do you guys think? Can you vintageize it? <laughs> Let's make, let's distress it a little bit. Is that something? All right. Let's just give it some of this cocoa dyeing to make it look old. That's what we're going to do. All right. So now here I am already ready with mine. And I think I'm going to put some lace at the top of this one if I have enough. So I'm just going to put this allow glue on the back because it's like matting. I really like that. And I'm just going to do this here. So what do you guys think? Are you seeing that you can create something from just something you have at home and make it fun? Yes. 
All right, so here we go. Now this, I find this to be just a tad bit off. So I'm just going to trim it up. There we go. Now, if I wanted the front of my pocket to be a little bit different, I can fix that. If I'm not all the way to the edge, I can fix that. I can also um, just say I want my pocket to have, um, just say I want it to be cut in. So if you wanna do that after you've already uh, glued this together, um, the best way to do is find a uh, middle point for this pocket. So this pocket is uh, one, two, three, four, five, six inches. So the middle would be three inches. So I guess you can see that, all right. And, <clears throat> and so here's my middle, right? And if I wanted to trim it, just say, um, say I wanna trim it to here. I know you can't see that, but say I wanna trim it that much. So I'm just gonna cut from this point to the corner. There we go. So I'm just gonna cut that off. Do you see that? All right, so then I'm gonna come from this side, the center, to my other corner. And that's pretty good, yeah? All right, so now my, um, my edge has not got its little distress. So since I don't want it to be on the back of the envelope uh, or pocket, I'm just going to put a piece of paper in there and use that. Now, if you didn't care and you want it to be on there, you can do that. Now, what if you want this to not be white? What if you want that to be um, something else? I mean, you could even take your music that you cut out, just say this side. And let's see, that's long enough. So let's cut this, I'll just show you real quick. Just some different ideas. All right, so this is, let's see. Let's see if we can get this in here. So if you wanted it to be this, of course this music's the wrong direction, but you could do it like that and just make you an insert to line your folder, right? I think that's cute, but it is not the right angle. And you want it to be up and down, right? All right let's just do that, I like that. Let's cut a piece. Huh? Here's Hark the Herald Angels thing. How about opening right up to that? <clears throat> Okay, so really quick, um, I need to oops, I'll cut out two pieces, stick that there. All right, I need to see if that's the right size. It's a little bit long, right? And just say I want to use this top portion. So I'm just going to cut this out, use my trimmer, and I'm just going to make my liner about to here. Let's use this. I always try to use the straight side so that I don't mess anything up too much. And I'm just gonna trim this even and see if that will work for inside that pocket to line it. Do you guys line your envelopes at all? Hey, Rochelle. Yeah, I like to make up new words. Uh, that's pretty funny. All right. All right, so that fits pretty good, yeah? So then you can see that. So, so I'm gonna take this out and age it a little bit vintageize it like we were saying yeah and it still has some of the color on here we're making up new words rochelle <laughs> all right so i'm just going to go ahead and put this on the back here and i'm going to put it inside that now i didn't make it the whole the whole size of this envelope. Just gonna make it enough to go below my point here. Because I'll tell you one thing that happens too. Sometimes you're, um, you get too much glue and it, it gets, um, unless you do it before you make your pocket, um, it can get stuck. All right, so here we go. That looks pretty, yeah. I like it. Um, okay, so the next thing that I want to do is I want some, 
lace. I don't know if I have enough. Ooh, I do. Okay, so I'm gonna just take this piece of lace and I think I need to snip it just a little bit so that it will, uh, let's just do this, so that it will let me glue it down. Okay, and then I'll put a bow in the middle of it. What do you think? And then you'll never know. All right, so um, I could use tacky glue here because I'm gonna be gluing this down. So I'm just gonna use this little little bit of glue because you don't always need a whole lot of glue. Just need enough for it to stick. You don't want the glue sticking out and you know getting everywhere. All right, so here we are. That's our point. Okay. Then I'm going to put this here. So there's a little bit of glue, okay, and there we go. Make sure you don't get glue inside your pocket when you're making it. It almost looks like a shirt. All right. And then if you find that you need more glue, you can always add more. Okay, so I'm gonna set this aside. And I need my glasses, what I need. All right, now I need something in the middle here. So I need a little bow. I don't know if red would look good. I guess red would look all right. What do you guys think? I think red would look all right. I don't have, let's see what other color I have in here. Let's just do red. You guys are so sweet. All right. So, who's getting ready for Christmas already? Anybody getting ready for Christmas already? Okay, making my bow. A button would be cute, yeah. I could put a bow and a button. There's some cute buttons in there too. Let's check it out and see what it would look like. I think that's cute though. Let's see. Bows are always cute. Got some buttons, some big, big brads. Let's see what this one is. These buttons have are like brads. These are cool. That one's cute. See if there's a red one in here. There's a black one. What do you think? Can you see the black? What do you think of the black? I don't know if it goes with it. Let's see. I don't think I have one that, let's see what this one is. That one. What do you guys think? Oh goodness, we'll be praying for you, Terry Lynn. Putting out Christmas already, working on a Christmas album. All right, for fundraiser, that's awesome. It looks like a lady's dress. I know, it does really. It does really, I think I'll just go with the bow for now. I'm just gonna glue that on. I probably could use the tacky glue, but I have this one out, so I'm just gonna put that on there. All right. All right, so I gave you some, a couple of pocket ideas. What do you guys think? You like the red button? I don't know. It does, it looks kind of like a lady's dress. Yeah. Yeah. So pretty. You guys, you know, really you can, you can make these. Now I've done two tonight, but, and I'm just rushing through them. Which one do you like the best? Which one do you like the best? So you got, let's, if you want to count them, let's see, let's do one, two, three, four, five. Which one's your favorite? One is the poinsettias, two is the butterfly, three is the oh, red, we'll just call it red, four is the frog or toad, whatever. Or fish. I think it's a fish, actually. 
that a fish? I always thought it was a frog. All right, and then the deer. You like the deer? The butterfly and the deer. Number five. Great ideas. Yeah, yay. I like the butterfly too. Why well, I like them. It's hard to pick sometimes. Like number three. It's really cute, right? I mean, really and truly, you can do all kinds of things. I mean, you can just, we could just do this all night. I mean, seriously, we could do, we could just sit and chat and get your supplies and just do it all night. You like number two best? They're all pretty, yeah. Hi, Mary. How many of us are on here? I don't even know, 20? You like the butterfly, Moon June? Yeah. So anyway, this is just a really fun idea. Use old books, use the craft supplies that you have. And I hardly touched my supplies, really, you know? And then if you want to make a, a tag, just cut you one out or use a journaling card and just cut it out and put a, you know, put a hole in it, put a ribbon in it. I mean, really and truly, it's that easy, seriously. So, all right. Well, we're gonna play crafts and games. Are you ready? Thank you guys. All right, I'm gonna set these aside. Oh, I think I hit that one. I'm gonna let that one dry. I'm gonna set these aside. And we're gonna play crafts and games. Who's ready? All right, I got my pencil here. So I'm gonna start uh, putting names down that I see and this is not dark enough. All right. And I got Mary, Rochelle, Terry Lynn. And you know, uh, so what we do to those that are new is we play crafts and games. And I put everybody's name that's on in a little um, bucket here. And I draw out three winners. And I will show you what I'm giving away tonight. You have to be present to win. Hey, Natty. And Debbie W. And it's just a fun, fun little game. It's just fun to do it. And it, have a few laughs. Okay, so you guys seeing your names here? Getting names? Okay, so Moon June. Who else am I missing? Okay, so this is... I'm gonna make sure, and there's Carla. Make sure I get everybody. There's Laura, Nix, Melanie. Uh oh, might run out of papers, huh? Melanie, <laughs> two times. <laughs> oh, somebody else to win. Oh, you're so sweet. Okay, who am I missing? I got Melanie and Madeline. Uh, you know, I don't rig it or anything. I just pull names out. Yeah, we should have a, cr a, a little slumber party and just craft away. Would you guys like to do that? Like a craft with me and just have a couple of hours and just have fun and craft. It would be fun to make these envelopes, wouldn't it? Maybe we could do some for Christmas or something. You guys tell me what you want to do. If you want to do that sometime, we'll do it. We'll schedule it. I don't know what night, what what day you would have two hours, though. Okay, so right now, let's see, I've got 15 or so. Let's see, that's 12. Let's see, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 5, 10, 15, and it says there's 17 watching. All right, so I'm missing somebody. Who am I missing? I've got Carla. Mary, I got you. Okay. Okay, who am I missing, you guys? Do you see your name down here? I've got Janice. I don't know. I don't I don't see who I'm missing. Okay. Let me see. All right, I think we got 15 watching, so we lost a couple, I think. So, okay, well, that's good. Name's going in the bucket. I'm going to play a game. The winner... Oh, Rochelle. Goodness gracious. You won the Friday night thing. That's different. Betty B. I got you, Betty B. It's okay to win, you know? 
It's okay. Because there's plenty of chances, right? There's plenty of chances. It's not like it's not like Cindy just says here once a year, right? You guys are sweet. Okay. Nettie probably needs to win something, right? Okay. So we're just going to stick them in there. Now, tonight's winner. Let me reach across. Sorry about that. Okay. Tonight's winner is going to get a little set of little papers, some twine, um, some little bit of ribbon, and a junk mail envelope in this beautiful little um, this little envelope, uh, this little pocket here that you can use to create a something else. So this is what you're going to win, and it'll get you started. You just need to add a few little embellishments to making your pocket, right? Okay, so I'm going to pick three winners for that. So the first thing we're going to do is play our game, and it's called... Dun, dun, dun. Are you ready? It's called Crafty Scrambles. Can you read it? <laughs> I thought I was being brilliant, but I think I didn't get it enough. It's Crafty Scrambles. So what it is, is I have five words that are all mixed up. The letters are all mixed up. And you have to tell me what the word is. Are you ready? Everybody ready? Thumbs up. Here we go. Ready? And set. And, yep, yep, yep. Can't see, I know, I know. I buried them in there. So that's not the one you have to unscramble. Ready? This one. Okay, can you see those letters? Okay, what word is this supposed to be? Well, that's up to you, Rochelle. The word is junk. Very good, you guys. You are so good. There's the answer. It's junk. <laughs> okay. Are you ready for the next word? Ready, set, crafty scrambles. What is this word? This one might be harder. But it all has to do with what we're doing tonight. Can anybody get it? It's like da 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 I'm not. Oh, it's a toughie. Yeah, it is. Do you want a hint? Anybody want a hint? I know this is a competitive group here. I'll give you the letter it starts with. Do you want the hint? <laughs> Ooh, I have actually, I have actually stumped the group. I don't think I've done that yet on any of our crafty games. Hint, please. Okay, it starts with a U. Anybody? Upcycle! Very good, Laura! Upcycle! That was a tough one, right, you guys? Upcycle. I think any words that start with vowels can be a challenge to unscramble, right? Okay, ready for the next one then? <clears throat> Very good, you guys. How about this one? <laughs> Envelope. Yes, this is a smart group out here. Awesome. Very, very good. You smart, you smart people. It's all right. Okay, what is this word? Okay. 
everybody got everything so far. <clears throat> I know it's hard to get it typed up. Yes, Melanie! Pockets! It is pockets! Good job! There you go, guys. And the last one. Are you ready for the last one? Everybody's probably typing. All right, here's the last one. Last one. <laughs> Can you guess? Journal! Very good! Excellent! Yay! You guys are awesome! Yay! Fun and games. Crafts and games. Lots of fun. All right. Good job, everybody. Let's see who gets to win one of my little packets here. It is fun to pull a name out of here, and I really, truly just pull a name, so I don't know who, who gets it. I just pull a name. All right. All right. Who is this? Oh, I can't find the end of it. Oh, there it is. It's Laura Nix. Laura, you won one. Yay! Okay. Let's see who else wins. Winner number two. <laughs> All right, let's see. Betty B. Betty B, you won one too. I think you won last week, didn't you, Betty B? Look at you guys. All right, here's one. Who is it? It's Melanie. Melanie, congratulations, you guys. Awesome sauce. So um, email me your address, prizes at cindyalewis.com, and I will get your uh, prize out to you. The prizes from last week, I got delayed in getting those in the mail, so I'll be sending those out as well. And uh, I'll have those ready. I mean, I actually pretty much have them ready to go. I just need to get them down to the post office. And, um, and you know, just get a little bit behind with everything else going on. But congratulations, everybody. Yay! So next week, we'll be back with Crafts and Games. Let me know if you do, um, if you really seriously want to do like a craft along where we can uh, just get our supplies and do some fun stuff, that would be fun, fun to do too. I think that would be fun. And then, you know, we'll just have to find a time that works for everybody. Yeah, it would be fun. It would be fun. All right, guys. Well, I'm going to let you get back to your family. Thanks so much for watching live crafts and games tonight. And I hope that you'll go and make some fun, fun uh, in, uh, pockets with your supplies and junk mail envelopes. All right. Good night, guys. Bye-bye.